What's up guys? Welcome to this video on Elvis is the man. So I just wanted to connect with you guys today and talk about my thoughts on Lisa Marie. Well, it's still very surreal to me. Uh, it's such a sad thing that I never even expected or even thought about happening. A lot of people said that they could see that she was not well. And like I said, in my live stream from a few nights ago, I was on vacation. So I didn't see the Golden Globes live. I saw bits and pieces on the internet and things you would send me. I saw pictures and video from the birthday celebration on January 8th, and I noticed that she was significantly skinnier. I just thought maybe she was just getting in better shape. A lot of people said that she looked pretty frail and weak there, which the the video that I saw of her actually speaking, she looked really great. Now, the photo that I saw of her and Glenn Harden, no, she didn't look so much, but obviously, you know, I was kind of busy, didn't think of anything you know, going on just like most of you. Then I did see clips of the Golden Globe where she was in the audience choked up about Austin's speech. You know, it was from kind of far away. And I just thought, you know, I was happy that she was happy about her dad getting the credit that he deserves and Austin as well. So I still didn't think about it. When it finally went down, like I talked about in the live stream a couple of days ago, the night it happened, I was flying home and I didn't have any internet reception on the plane. It was about a four or five hour flight. And when I got back, I started to get a few messages here and there saying, or I actually had a few saying, you know, did you hear what happened about Lisa? And here's a link. And honestly, I just thought it was like spam. I thought it was like some trolls or whatever. So I didn't even respond. I just deleted them, just a couple. And then when I went on Instagram, I was the man, I saw that, whoa, this is actually real. I had it like, 25 messages and I'm like oh my gosh so that's when I started to look at TMZ see what was going on I actually saw the photos of Lisa from the Golden Globes and no she did not look good she looked very frail um and then I actually heard the tragic news while I was driving home about her passing away and you know I knew she was they were put they had her put in a coma and she was in critical condition because I was learning this on the fly just like you guys but I was at the airport and busy I couldn't like really focus on what was going on and like I said I found out on the way home and I, I was just so very shocked and it was like surreal came home did a live stream with you guys yesterday I woke up after about four or five hours sleep and it was like not even real and you have this sense of just missing Lisa and you don't really know what you have till it's gone a lot of times Yesterday, I was just going through a lot of footage, some that I've seen, and I wanted to go back to, like Lisa on Good Morning America in 2003. I posted that on Instagram. Uh, she really had a good voice. I was watching um, interviews with her, Larry King, David Letterman, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. She was like such a sweet girl who had a lot of tragedy happen to her that she had to overcome. I guess the song You Gave Me a Mountain would really apply to her, maybe even more so than her dad. She was a young girl who lost her father at nine years old and had to deal with the stress of that life after that. She said in interviews that she seemed down in a lot of her photos growing up because she was down. She said she uh, dealt with death at a very early age and she wanted answers. And so until she got those answers... She seemed like, what is the point of all this? I was just really like for hours and hours yesterday, just sitting by myself, looking at old clips of Lisa, starting her new album in 2003, To Whom We May Concern, and just watching her bits of uh, Elvis by the Presleys, bits of her on various talk shows. And it's just like, she was so sweet and... It's just a sad, sad thing. Now, a few bits of information that I've uh, learned, like most of you, Lisa will be buried at Graceland next to her dad, Gladys, and her son. It's going to be so weird going to Graceland. Since I haven't been there since 2020, and it was such a fun time. It's like I don't want to go back, but eventually when I do and see Lisa's grave there, it's going to be weird. Like, I wasn't here... And a lot of you can identify with this. I wasn't here for Elvis passing away, but I was, and we were for Lisa. And this is just like a weird time. Also, what's going to happen to Graceland? 
well, I'm not worried about Grayson because let's face it, if there's money to be made with Elvis and his image, you know, Grayson's going to stay open and nobody's going to interrupt that flow. I learned that Lisa's grandchildren, Riley and her two twin daughters who are 14 right now are the heirs, they're the trusts of Graceland. It was Lisa, now it's down to them. I don't know how involved they want to be or how involved they will be. Maybe they'll kind of take up the mantle and feel the responsibility of this or maybe they'll leave it to other executives. But I'm not worried about Elvis's legacy. We have the great movie. We have, you know, Austin um, who shared his condolences yesterday. So I'm not worried about Graceland or anything like that. But, you know, this could mean maybe we would get the 77 CBS special. I don't mean that to sound, you know, but it's like a thought that comes to my mind because Lisa was probably, and rightfully so, wanted to hold it back. But the only downfall I could see would be that maybe the people who come in charge, they maybe release that for monetary purposes or whatever. But uh, I'm not worried about that. This is just a sad, sad moment, and it still doesn't seem real. It's like, I wish I could have uh, went down to Graceland, you know, for Elvis's birthday celebrations or August 16th and maybe seen her in person. Like, once she's gone, it's like, you look back and it's like, wow, what, what did I miss, you know? Because a lot of us were just focused on Elvis, but now with Lisa gone, it's like the last part of Elvis that was here on earth is now gone. Um, it, it's been really nice talking to you guys on uh, Instagram and YouTube in the comments about your guys' feelings, and I share a lot of them um, with the others on Instagram. Like I'll put it up on, on a story, things you guys write on YouTube, and I think it's really sweet, and I think Lisa would really love everything that the fans are sharing. I want to leave you guys with uh, some clips from David Letterman. I think she's just so sweet here and so cute here. And it's just when I saw these clips and especially the performance, I literally got goosebumps. I wanted to take a picture of it. It's the only time I really felt like I, you know, started to choke up. So watch some of these clips here. Talk to me in the comments after you watch the video. Check out the live stream I did the night of her death. Um, a lot of you guys showed up for that thousands and uh, we all talked and if you missed any of it go check it out it was a long stream so many things were said you guys shared so many of your personal feelings uh, i think a lot of you guys would really enjoy sitting and watching that i think the live chat replay is still available so you can hear what everybody or read what everybody commented check this out guys That was great. You have a wonderful voice. That is powerful. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Lisa Marie Presley, everybody.